Hello everybody, it's Blockyduck, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install World Edit for Minecraft 1.19.3. So the first thing you want to do is, you want to go ahead and download Fabric for Minecraft 1.19.3. Now there are actually two different um, platforms you can use, Forge and Fabric. For this tutorial, I will be downloading Fabric. So anyways, once you're here, you want to click on where it says Download Universal Jar. And that is going to go ahead and download the Fabric installer for us. And so as you can see, it will take a second, but eventually the Fabric installer will finish downloading. There we go. And so at this point, you want to click on this little arrow right here, and you want to click on where it says Open. And that's going to actually open up the Fabric installer right here. There we go. And you want to make sure that it has Minecraft 1.19.3 selected, which if you look at the top, it does. So we can click on this install button and then it's going to say that it has successfully installed. So we can click OK and then actually close out of this as well. So there we go. Fabrics installed. There are two more things that we need to download, though, in order to get World Edit to work. The first thing is Fabric API. So if you click on the second link in the video description, it's going to take you off to the Fabric API website. Now, what you want to do is you want to um, select a file that says 1.19.3. So as of the date that I released this video, there's this one that's the main file up here. You can just click on that to download it. Of course, if you're watching this into the future, though, you can scroll down under the recent files and choose the one that says 1.19.3 that has like 150,000 downloads. You don't want to use this one that only has 807. You want to use the one that has the R. So anyways, what you want to do is just click on that download button and it's going to go ahead and take five seconds to download. As you can see here, it's just going to count down from five seconds and Fabric API is going to go ahead and download for us. So while we wait for Fabric API to finish downloading, we can actually download World Edit at the same time. So if we go here to World Edit, it's going to see that we have the main file, World Edit, Forge Fabric for 1.19.3. Once again, though, if you're watching this video a little bit into the future, you can scroll down here under the recent files, choose the one that says 1.19.3 that has like 90,000 downloads or whatever. So anyways, you can just click on this download button. And the same thing that happened with the Fabric API, it's going to take five seconds, count down from five, and then... It, it's going to go ahead and actually download World Edit. So now that, there we go, so now that you can see that it is just finishing up downloading World Edit and Fabric API, the next step that you want to do is you want to open up the search bar on your computer right here. And now you want to type in percentage app data percentage. There we go. And of course, guys, if you think I'm going a little bit too fast, you can feel free to pause the video and um, just follow along with me. That's most likely going to be the easiest way to do this, is to just kind of do the steps as I'm doing it. But anyways, you want to click on this, where it says App Data right here. That's going to go ahead and open up the file folder. There we go. So right now, you want to click on where it says dot .minecraft and you want to scroll down until you find the mods folder now if this is your first time downloading mods you can just make a new folder name it mods all lowercase anyways what you want to do is just go ahead and click on that and it's going to say this folder is empty so since the folder is empty what we can do is we can minimize out of this folder for right now you don't want to close out of it you just want to minimize it but now you want to go ahead and click on the arrow next to either the Fabric API or the World Edit mod. It doesn't matter which one, but you just want to click the arrow next to one of them. Then click where it says Show in Folder, and it's going to go ahead and show your downloads. So right here, we're going to do a little bit of um, moving around with the dragging and dropping, but you want to get your mods folder back open, and you want to move your downloads folder. And there we go. So you can see that we can kind of access both of them from here. But you want to select both the World Edit and the Fabric API mod. You can just do that by shift clicking on the World Edit. And you want to drag and drop both of them from the Downloads folder into your Mods folder. So there you go. As you can see, we have um, World Edit and Fabric API inside of the Mods folder. So we can close out of both of these folders right now. And now we're back to our desktop. So from here, what you want to do is you want to just double click on the Minecraft launcher. That's going to go ahead and launch Minecraft. 
So as you can see, here we are on the Minecraft launcher. Now, if you look towards the bottom left corner, it's going to say Fabric Loader 1.19.3. You want to make sure that's selected. And once it is, you can click the green play button and click the little checkbox. As I understand the risk, it's just a thing about the Minecraft chat for multiplayer. But anyways, then you can go ahead and click on play and Minecraft Java Edition will launch for us. Alright everybody, so as you can see here, Minecraft Java Edition is loaded up, so now I'm just going to go ahead and launch one of my Minecraft worlds, and we're going to use World Edit in-game for Minecraft 1.19.3. Alright everybody, so as you can see, we are in my Minecraft city, so if we just go ahead and enter in a basic World Edit command like one and then hit enter as you can see it's going to go ahead and give us a wand so there we go world edit is installed for minecraft 1.19.3 i hope you enjoyed the video be sure to let me know in the comment section how it turned out for any of you who couldn't get it installed i'll do my best to answer you guys within a reasonable time frame thank you guys for watching and have a great day